Hi everyone, so this is continuing with question two from the 2022 paper. I've already just done Dijkstra's, but if you look what this question says, it says you've got cycle tracks between the landmarks need to be inspected. You will travel along each track at least once and minimise the length. So it's screaming out at you that it's Chinese posting there. Uh, it says you want to start and finish at D and E. So let's have a look at the diagram again. So I've circled the odds on here. Um, so I've got A, D, E and H. Now if I'm starting at D and ending at E, then I need to repeat A to H somehow, which is nice because I've dropped down to just one pair of odds that I need to connect. So now it's a semi-hilarium problem, which is a little bit easier to deal with. So let's have a look here then. Uh, so my odds, so this is V part one, uh, A, D, D and H. So I'm going to start at D and the E. So I know that I need to repeat A to H. And what I've done is I've made it semi hilarian because I'm only down to one pair of odds that I need to do. Now what's quite nice is the A was the start point for the Dijkstra's. So if I go back and look at my Dijkstra's, a to H is 28, but it's also on the path. So the, the shortest route from A to H is A to B, then B to E, then E to H. So I've got all the information I need from my Dijkstra's. I don't need to do anything daft with it. Let's just move this up a little bit. So I'm going to repeat A, H, but A, H is A to B. B to E, and it's really, really important that you list the edges that you use when you do this repeat. So I'm repeating A to B, B to E, E to H, and that's 28. So for part two, it asks for the length of it. So my solution is the total for the network, which is 299, plus what I'm repeating, which was 28. So that is what, 327? 327 kilometres there. Done two minutes 40. Let's see if I can go to the next bit. So it's now decided to start at A, finish at K. Right, so I'm now going to start at A, finish at K. So this is part C. Start A, finish at K. Let's have a quick look at the picture. So if I'm starting at A, I'm finishing at K. Imagine if I'm starting at A, A is now even. If I'm finishing at K, K is now odd. So it changes the, the odds that I've got now. So my odds are actually D, where's E gone? I've lost it. D, E, H, and K. And this is where this went massively wrong. So a is now even, but K is now odd because of where I'm starting and finishing. And loads of people didn't get that when they were in the exam. Right, so I start at A, so that makes that one even now. So it's now even, and this one is now odd. So my odds are now D, E, H, and K. I've got 50 seconds left. I'm going to set up the, the, the method mark, which is a three distinct pairing. So I'm just going to pause it while I do that. There. So I'm now going to get the values off the diagram and put them in here. So I'm going to pause it again. Boing. I've already got 30 seconds left now. So I'm going to repeat uh, D to E, which is actually D to A, A to B, B to E. I'm going to repeat H to K, which is H to G and G to K. My solution with 10 seconds left is 299 plus 57 that I'm repeating, which is 356. Bye bye.